Hello guys, welcome to my kitchen. And I know I don't do these types of videos usually. I actually was planning to put a few videos like this out, but I never exported them and sent them to YouTube. And I had to delete CapCut because it was too big. So they never really ended up being posted. But anyways, if you're wondering what I'm doing in apron in my kitchen, I'm about to bake some red velvet cake. And why am I baking red velvet cake? Well, because Valentine's Day is in two days and my crush loves my red velvet cake. So we're going to be baking it again. Last year we did cupcakes. This year I have a different plan. We're going to be making a heart-shaped cake. And we're going to be using my official recipe instead of... Um, A box cake so anyways let's get started before we do anything I'm actually going to be setting my oven to 350 degrees so I'm gonna press bake 350 and just leave it that, like that also you're turning on the oven light so now you can see inside my oven and also I have a cookie sheet pan at the bottom there that's just so that when the mixture or anything drips it won't be a big deal this cake we're gonna need of course, cake pan, mixing pan, probably another mixing pan or pot, knife, spoon, spatula, whisk, measuring cup. We're also going to want some of these types of measuring cups. For ingredients, we're going to want the spray to put on things, sugar, milk, buttermilk, vanilla extract to butter, cinnamon, or salt. Cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, oil, um, some flour, of course, and then we're also going to want some eggs, of course, and for decorating, frosting, sprinkles, and wine gel. start with making the buttermilk. So to make my buttermilk, I'm going to need four tablespoons of this. So first I'm going to heat up my milk. And yes, I'm making my buttermilk in some milk because it will make it probably richer. And by the way, this is type, kind of an experiment. Uh, I had a recipe before, but I lost it, so now I'm doing like an experimental recipe. Now that's in the microwave. I can start preparing. And if you're wondering why I just put that in the microwave, well, it's because it's a lot of um, Easier that way to make it all mix. Alright, so now we got the warm milk, we're gonna scoop up four tablespoons of this into the warm milk. It's gonna be way easier to go in since it's warm. Alright. And now we're going to take the spoon and mix. I put it inside the microwave again. And you see the, the mixer thing. Alright. So the next thing we're going to need to do is to melt down some butter. And while we're doing that, we can also start mixing up the other things. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing in this red food coloring. Along with that, I'm putting in one tablespoon of almond extract. 
is one cup of butter. So I'm gonna place in here. And then mix it up. It's time for the eggs, which this recipe calls for three eggs. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing is putting in our dry ingredients. So, I'm going to want... Let me put this inside for a bit. Three cups of flour and the sugar and three fourths cup of sugar. Half teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna go with about because this is a four teaspoon measurement, half teaspoon of salt, as well as a half teaspoon of baking powder as well. And then we're going to be placing in the cinnamon, which is going to be a tablespoon of cinnamon and for this uh, cocoa powder like doesn't really matter how much cocoa powder you use and then now we just mix Now inside the fridge, and all we gotta do is wait for a bit for it to cool.